Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a brand new one from New Trail Brewing Company. This is Hammock Hazy uh, Double IPA. Four, three pack. Randy four. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I don't have a glass. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Hammock. Hazy Double IPA. Let me tell you a little bit about that and about this, and then I will go get a glass. Hammock India Pale Ale, 9% alcohol by volume. Another freshy. The other freshy. They have another hazy IPA out, and um, but I can't remember the name of it. Something about lawn, something like that. It wasn't. I don't think it was lawn dart or something like that, but it was something. Something summery. But uh, I picked this one up because their DIPAs are usually in my wheelhouse. So this one is simply Citra and Oats. That's all it says. So wouldn't that be considered a smash beer when it's just one hop, one, one grain? Which I just... This can't be all Oats, can it? Maybe. Maybe it can. I don't know. So Citra and Oats, 9% alcohol by volume. And of course from Williamsport, Pennsylvania... About 45 minutes in that direction. We'll put you right there. Hey, three, three, three. Right about there. And I'll go get the the Okay. I'm just going to use the big old devil to do that. And I just did uh, I just did the dishes this morning. So there's some condensation in the glass of poo. Just going to use the big old Duval glass. Crack it open. Gonna do a left hand pour so we can label out folks. Okay, here it is. Stay. Stay. Up to the light. Haze for days, unclear for years. Definitely a tangerine, orange, juicy goodness color here. Hazy as hell. Nice big two finger with the Neanderthal pour. Two finger, 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 two finger, two finger hazy or a thick, creamy head, rocky top, alcohol legs sticking from that nine percent alcohol by volume, for sure, and again beautiful orange juice haze in the glass. Aroma time. Beautiful sweetness coming out. <laughs> There's a beautiful sweetness coming from those oats, and it's just mixing with this beautiful. Mm, it's like tangerine, blood orange, mango, peach. It's almost like a. Oh, God, jeez. This sweet orange. Nope, oh, well, that's some earthy pepper just wafting through right there. And this is only Citra, so that's crazy. This Citra is banging. I mean, this is throwing fucking tropical at my face. That beautiful sweetness, though, I don't know why. I, you know, it's got a lot of sweetness coming out of this thing. So, I mean, that's just, uh, the oats just must be just, I don't know. I've never, never had a beer they didn't have lactose in it that had this much sweetness just kind of coming right out of it. Just from oats is crazy. There's a little bit of a slight herbal tone. Peppery bitterness coming out of this. Earthy peppery bitterness. Earthy pepperiness. Not bitterness. Earthy pepperiness. I didn't drink it yet. Ugh. So let's get into it and actually drink it. Cheers. Mm. That's nice. Okay. There is a nice pillowy kind of velvety mouthfeel to this one. But it goes down from those oats. Wow. It's borderlining the high side of a medium mouthfeel, if you know what I mean, in that wheelhouse. Yeah, like that. Mm. Oh, creamy. Creamy. 
Mm. Again, you get a little bit of a hint of that tangerine, almost blood orange kind of qual uh, quality. Hint of a mango in there as well. Earthy pepperiness still wafting through the palate. He lost a little bit of herbaceous tonality, but I think it's going to be probably coming back a little bit on the burp. With a hint of grapefruit, more of that tangerine kind of candied orange, blood orange kind of vibe as the star of the show. Again, a little bit of that mango quality in the background. It's not screaming the tropical, but it's blending with that kind of sweet creaminess that the body is, is, is kind of showcasing. So everything's kind of just blending perfectly together. It's, a, it's loaded up with quality, with the different nuances and tonalities. It's not bombastic bombastic as the nose was but the, in the flavor compound but oh there's that herbaceous tone a little bit of that slightly because it's so fresh hop a little bit fresh ipa a little bit of a cucumber a little bit of a vegetal tone earthy floral tone of the burp herbaceous tone of the burp coming with a little bit more of that kind of uh, piffy orange quality in the burp There's a slight vegetal tone from that hop right there, slightly, like, like an herbaceous flat vegetal tone right there. Right there, it's kind of like right under what you, you start getting all out of that kind of character. There's a little bit of it, so it's a very fresh, fresh IPA. That's going to die down in like a week. You know what I mean? A lot of that will be gone. But you, I get them fresh, which I'm extremely happy about. So you get a little bit of that fresh hop, that kind of green, I guess they call it, like hot green quality. To the, to the hops on some of these. It's not bothering me at all. Let's get a little bit more in there and, and just pour it all over the table. You can tell this is the first one of the day. I am just not with it. Sit. Stay. I did pour a little bit on the table. I'm not happy about it, but for some reason I just had a towel right here. So that works out well. I'm going to move the camera too. <sighs> okay. Mow the lawn, did some dishes, took care of the animals, blah blah blah. Drove all the way, kids put the kids to camp. I'm good to go. So now I'm gonna have one beer and probably go back to bed because <laughs> I'm off and I'm lazy. And we might do a uh, a Maniac Speed podcast tonight. I think we are gonna do a Maniac Speed podcast tonight. So. Cheers. Yeah. Again, it's not bombastic. It's not screaming in your face, but everything's blending well together. There's a hint of a vegetal herbaceous tone because of this fresh hop, fresh IPA. That is to be expected. It is what it is. Again, that'll blend off in, in like two or three weeks. It'll get a lot, a lot smoother far as that is going there but super citra this citra is kicking ass it's just bombastic as far as the characters it is giving i just didn't realize citra has had that much vibrancy to it because the only thing it says on here is citra and oats and that's it and that is a creamy ass mouthfeel notes of candied orange mango flesh and rich tropicals i'd call that a winner ting, ting. <laughs> so as advertised really tasty Love the mouthfeel. Mm. Well, they just hit it again right out of the park. They have a magic with these. Uh, no hint of 9%, by the way. Absolutely none. Really super easy drinking. Hammock, Hazy, Double IPA, New Trail Brewing Company, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Big 9 out of 10. Super awesome. Super awesome. Damn, I'm tempted to give 9.5, but I'm going to throw it in the 9. It is soups awesome super awesome so yeah it's been Paul's Pay of news cheers Ooh. I could definitely kill this four pack by just relaxing and watching a movie for sure because I don't own a hammock do I yes I do I own two because they're camping hammocks and I just haven't used them yet ha <laughs> ha so there we go and I'm not going to put them up and use them too much effort
Cheers. Watch that figure. Here it comes.